activated. Your window into how we can change the way in which we aspire for persons with disabilities. How we change our expectations from seeing inability to expecting ability. Activated takes us on a journey of taking lessons from persons with disabilities in how we must do things differently to unleash the contributions persons with disabilities can and must make to building a disability inclusive Mzanzi. Hello, 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 and welcome to Activated, a series that explores disability within the context of a human rights framework. Today's topic explores how assistive technology has enabled persons with disabilities to make themselves heard. Speaking is the primary communication method, and as a chatterbox, I can't imagine how frustrating it must feel not to be able to express yourself verbally to not be able to give voice to your needs, ideas, fears, and desires, to not feel understood. Today we look at how augmentative and alternative communication devices makes communication easier for those who struggle to communicate. We also learn how these very devices are giving victims of abuse the chance to be heard. I'm your host, Taryn Tomlinson. Let's get activated. In today's program, we visit the Centre for Augmentative and Alternative Communication at the University of Pretoria, where we will meet with Professor Shakila Dada, who heads up the Centre. We visit Sibabalwe Mukankwana, who was amongst the top achievers with disabilities in the 2019 matric class. Our guest for today is Shona MacDonald, and we will be discussing the challenges of children with mobile difficulties and what we can do differently to change the narrative for children who are nonverbal. In this week's Activated Bulletin, Mr. Alan Downey will navigate us through the Disability Information South Africa website, which focuses on providing online information on disability services in South Africa. We travel all the way to Bushbuck Ridge to visit with Mpo Mkhlolo, the winner of the 2019 SAB Foundation Disability Achiever Award. And we end our show with a poem from Siba Balwe, read by our idol Lebohang Mashile, South African actress, writer, and performance artist. Vandaag kijk ons hoe aanvullende en alternatieve communicatie toestellen, communicatie vergemakkelijk voor diegene wat sukkel om te communiceer. Ons het professor Shakila Dada in haar span ontmoet. Communication is an essential part of humanity. It is what connects us, helps us to understand each other's thoughts and ideas, share information and build social relationships. The team at the Center for Augmentative and Alternative Communication in the Facility of Humanities at the University of Pretoria has been actively debunking the common myth that not being able to talk implies one has nothing to say. AAC comprises two main systems, an unaided system where one uses one's body to communicate. Then there are aided systems which are really external to your body. Hello everybody. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Zaina Bolmar. What has developed in terms of augmentative and alternative communication most recently is kind of the explosion in terms of mobile technologies. It has made AC a little bit more accessible to many people. Without cheating, try to get the blocks of the plate without using your hands. You mean hands or elbows? <laughs> is this cheating? <laughs> I have two important difficulties to overcome. One is movement. This I have partly overcome with an electric wheelchair. And the other is to be able to communicate what I need and also my feelings. Yes, I do have feelings I need to express. In 2017, we were approached by a social worker from Uppington who uh, had a case of a young lady who had been abused. And this young lady couldn't uh, speak, she was not literate, um, and she had a severe physical disability, so she couldn't use sign language. 
So we needed to give her something that uh, she's able to express her own story. Javier, eat it with my Javier. Thankfully, she was able to use it uh, to give a testimony, to go through cross-examination, and the perpetrator was then sentenced. What we would really like to see in this country is more training for teachers, educators, and family members on how to use augmentative and alternative communication with people with complex communication needs. And in that way, we will be able to unmute many unlocked potential and have people participate fully and completely in life. Hello, this beautiful, self-confident young lady in front of you is Constance Gugu in Thule. Having a voice is really important because from my experience of not having a voice nor device was very difficult. I thank you for your time and opportunity once again. Have a great day. Thank you, Constance. <laughs> not being able to speak does not mean you have nothing to say. After the outbreak, we travel all the way to East London to meet up with the brilliant Babalwe Mkunkwana, who despite not being able to communicate, has won a top award for a metric result in 2019. Welcome back. As a young mother interested in sculpture and engaged in community service work, Shona's life took a dramatic turn with the birth of her second daughter, Shelley. Born with cerebral palsy, unable to speak and almost totally deaf, doctors and therapists advised Shona to put her daughter in a home and have another baby. Shocked and dismayed, Shona was determined to start building a positive future for Shelley. Welcome, Shona, and thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Shona, can you take us back to 1982? As a young mother, what were some of the thoughts that were going on in your mind at hearing the diagnosis of your daughter? My first reaction was relief that I actually got a diagnosis because we had been fighting for one for six months. And then when I got that advice, I was really angry. I wanted to prove the whole world wrong. I really believed that she deserved as much a chance as any other of my children. Can you give us some examples of some of the other assistive devices besides wheelchairs that you manufacture? We manufacture a whole range of equipment. We've tried to keep it really modular to be able to address the really wide range of needs of the children we work with. So. Besides buggies, which start from as young as 18 months old, we work on 24-hour posture management, so it's sitting, lying, standing, and even crawling, and walking, if that's necessary. But the most important part of all this is it must be adjustable and appropriate for each individual user. What can we, as a society and government, do to better the lives of nonverbal children? When I started realizing that Shelley wouldn't speak, it became really important to me, firstly, that she could express to me what she needed, but the risk always was that we wouldn't engage with her in normal conversation like you would your other children. So we, we made a really particular focus on making sure she was included in conversations. Alternate communication or just communication becomes a therapy instead of being a way of life in a family. And for that to happen, Parents and family members really need to be empowered. They need to understand the, the tricks and the, the skills and why it's important to include their child who can't speak in day-to-day -day conversations. And that doesn't necessarily only come from a hospital or an AAC center or a place where you can buy a piece of equipment. It comes from empowering from within and understanding that we are all equal. Shona, if I'm watching this at home and I need help with alternative communication, where do I go? We've tried to find a way to connect parents and families with information at a really grassroots level, creating a champion or parent champions network across South Africa. This network is focused on building the knowledge 
to really support parents who need this type of information. To end off the show, is there any advice that you would love to leave for parents who have children with disabilities? Your child is your child, no matter what other people think. Having knowledge and, and knowing how to work with your child and bring out the best in your child, regardless of whether they have a disability or not, is truly what parents are there for. Find out more, never stop being inquisitive, and build your child's future, any of your children's future, in the same way, without discrimination. Shona, I can say without a doubt that you are truly a champion for Shelley and for kids with disabilities. We thank you for your beautiful insight and for taking the time to spend time with us here today. We travel to East London to meet up with Siba Balwe, a brilliant mind and unbelievably strong young woman. Mdansani is a South African urban township situated 15 kilometers away from East London and it is the second largest township in the Eastern Cape. The name Mdansani is derived from a stream that ran from the Nahoon River down to the Buffalo River and it is host to some of the best provincial high schools. The country celebrates a historic increase in the 2019 matric pass rate to 81.3%. One such top achiever is none other than Siba Balwe Mkunkwana, a person who loves herself and who knows what she wants in life. physical challenge communicate even in school akululanga funeka kube khona umuntu ozomunderstand atolikele omnye ba uthi even nasekhlasini but xa ithetha nejomi zakhe ngena ku facebook angena ku whatsapp and then ku instagram unaye ukhonikhetha ngolo hlobo ne outside world is Yes. The age of 10. social practicals from America. So phone arrangement, social worker what is that and Zane Silla, the Apekai, and the Sabins Akanzi, Makakulebe Fund, the Engala, a Fumba person, Cray Twelve. Mama, <laughs> Computer, and phone, you went on seven to be ruler, Lord Okoye. And in art, if never seen like this, a poor look at our seven CC is under Sakasia, Siam, you can do Yenze. Next time to cushion, see Baker, Enze in Dosak, Okoko to Basim Night, a six on the material, the Bella Pampak. Oh, 
Om een toppresteerder te wees, ver harde werk en toewijding. Maar dit alleen is niet genoeg om succes te behalen. Nie. Baie mensen werken hard, zonder om resultaten te leveren. Toppresteerders het ook visie en zelfvertrouwen nodig. Ons is allemaal in staat om groot dingen te bereiken, maar ons moet gewillig wees om onszelf elke dag te verbeteren. En zo so zie je jezelf verbeteren, zal jouw omstandigheden verbeteren. Siba Balwoy wijs ons, dit kan gedoen word. Welkom terug. Vandaag het ons gekyk na hulpprogramme vir personen met gestreemdhede en wat hulle in staat gestel het om hulle self te laat hoor. In our weekly bulletin, we visit Mr. Alan Downey, founder and CEO of Disability Information South Africa, an NGO which focuses on providing online information on disability services available in Mzanzi. When I had my accident, I was starting to be a panel beater. I never imagined I'd be running a disability information service um, and assisting people every day. My name is Alan Downey. I'm the founder and executive director of Disability Info South Africa, or DISA as we like to call ourselves. Um, I developed DISA in 2015. In 1994, I'd had a diving accident and broke my neck. In 2015, I realized there was a need for some kind of support service and information service that could have all the information in one place. So for example, if you wanted to search for some products, you can visit our uh, search for info page and you'll see the contact details of the companies that have advertised with us and a list of the products they supply. If they can't assist you, um, then we have a search facility where you can select a particular product that you're looking for and the province that you're in and you can type in the city and a list of companies or organizations that supply the products will come up with their contact details and information. Disability Info South Africa is a gratis webverf en ondersteuningsdienst voor personen met gestreemdhede en die moeite waard om te bezoek. Tijd om ons vleelende of reiskoene aan te trek, 1822 kilometer hier van die kaap na Bushpark Ridge in Mpumalanga. The name Bushpark Ridge in Mpumalanga came from the large herds of Bushpark found here in the 1880s. Bushpark Ridge is the home of Mpumalolo, maker of affordable equipment for children with cerebral palsy. He saw a particular need for children with disabilities and his work is a vital lifeline in the area. My name is Mpo, working at Norwich, helping children with disability by making a PT chairs. That is special seating for disability children. I was inspired to make a chair because I was see the children struggling to sit comfortable. This is my workshop where I work in and then I use cardboard to make my chairs. That is for recycling. I, I take three layers of cardboard and then I draw the pattern on top of that cardboard, so I cut. After that, I join together the pieces that have been cut to make a, a, a beautiful chair. The 
mostly my client that I deliver the chairs is the Ntualo Hospital and there's another school for disability, Retabile Disability Centre. My message to disabled people, you will never give up because you have a disabled. You must fight until you get that you want. In our samenleving word mense met gestremdhede baie meer uitgesluit en is werkloosheid steeds hoog. Mpo, ons is trots op jou. Jy het nie net voorin te beweeg om vir jou een lewe te skep nie, maar jy het ook een beter lewe vir mense rondom jou geskep. Ons het aan die einde van nog een episode gekom. Ek hoop dat vandagse program inspirerend was en dat jyl denkwijse uitgebrei het. Onthou, volgende week, die selfde tyd, die selfde plek. In closing, we leave you with a poem from Siba Balwe, read by idol Lebo Khang Mashile, South African actress, writer and performance poet. Tot volgende keer, tot ziens. A burst of laughter with shiny teeth. Run a mile and kilometer to enrich your deepest declaration of proclamation upon a mountain. You are capable of your abilities over and beyond your disabilities. Though the dark clouds surround and limit the unlimited, they never dictate this limitless sky full of possibilities. Black woman who sits on your wheelchair, arise to face the faceless that the abled bodied can't colonize utter words of liberation freedom to strip off the labels that society renamed us begin a new chapter of triumph over the shadow of death and not fearing the layers of the deceivers who are receivers of evil dreamers wake up from the beautiful nightmares to prophesize our visions and dreams to come forth, to succeed in our prophecies. Positivity can make a queendom of prosperity in you.